University of Missouri Healthcare knows you've got better places to be than in a hospital. That's where our world-class technology and highly skilled medical team come in. We get you home sooner. That's important to you and those who wait for you. Patricia Miller with us, Columbia Public Library. Welcome to Radio Friends, Patricia. Hello, nice to be here. I'm, here, I'm, oh. I'm extending my <laughs> hand to you there. Thank you. Uh, let's see, and we're going to talk about food marketing claims. Is this a, something that the, a class the library has? Yes, this is a program that we're having on Tuesday, April the 24th at 6.30 in the evening. Um, it's co-sponsored by the Central Missouri Dietetic Association, mm -hmm. and our guest speaker is Martha Dragich. She's at the University of Missouri School of Law, and she's working, I think, on an advanced degree in agricultural and food law. So she's going to be speaking about uh, the confusing and misleading food labeling uh, that we all encounter and when we go shopping. And there's a lot of it, isn't there? Yes. So she's going to ask... Um, participants to bring in food labels, and she's going to help to decipher some of the terminology. And uh, one of the big labels, I guess, that uh, is confusing is a lot of things are labeled natural. So she's going to explain the difference between natural and the word organic and which terms are regulated. She's also going to be talking so, about... So there is mm -hmm. a difference, There right? is a difference. Well, some, some packaging will say natural, some will say all natural. Yes. Well, from what I understand, and she'll be able to tell us a lot more, the word natural is not regulated at all. Anyone can claim it's natural. I mean, obviously, well, a lot almost of are anything natural. that we have is natural exactly. unless it came from outer space. Right. So right. it's natural. Right. And there are things like uh, that are appearing now good for you or a good source of nutrients. Um, things that really are more marketing claims that she's going to examine in greater okay. detail. But when you look at the contents of, doesn't it have to, uh, the contents are listed uh, in the order of how much is in? That's my understanding, yes. Like yes. if what in, 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 in processed food, if right. water is the first ingredient listed, it means there's more water in there than anything right, else. Right, right, yeah. But she's going to examine some of the misleading things. As it says, for example, light or low fat. Well, one of the things she's going to point out is that um, manufacturers com compensate. It might be reduced fat or light or lower fat, but there actually may be more sweeteners in it. So you might be getting uh, something you think is going to be good for you, but you're not looking at the other things that might be in the product. So, so how is anyone supposed to know this? Because we are being manipulated. Yes, I suppose that's what marketing is for, yes. <laughs> the packaging is very attractive, and I think that's why she would like people to bring in perhaps their favorite product and subject it to scrutiny and make us all a little more aware of okay. what we're actually purchasing sounds, and consuming. Uh, that sounds like a good class. It's going to be when? It's going to be Tuesday afternoon, well, evening, 6.30. That's Tuesday, April 24th. Okay, so next at, Tuesday, April the 24th at 6.30. In the Friends Room at, at the, the library. library. Yes. I hope the Friends Room is going to be large enough to accommodate all the people that it's will come. It's a pretty large room, and I hope it attracts a large audience. I okay. think a lot of people will be very do, interested. Do, do people need to register or just show up? No, just show up. That's fine. I think you're going to fill that place up. I hope so. So it'll be next uh, next. Tuesday. Tuesday. Next Tuesday, April the 24th, 4th. at what time 6 again? 6.30. 6.30, and, and you're going to be discussing food, food labeling yes. and food, food marketing, marketing claims. claims and food labeling, oh, correct. My. That almost makes me want to drive into the class. Yes, that, I'm, the nice thing about co-presenting is that you actually you're going to get be there. to be there. You're going yes. to be there. Okay, and it's free of charge. It's free of charge. Thank yes. you very much, okay. Patricia Miller. Okay, thank you. Okay, now I turn to my friend, Margaret Tollerton. Welcome to Radio thank Friend, you. Margaret Tollerton. You, Missouri Cures. And uh, every, every time you're on, you tell us about some new advances uh, that have been made because of Missouri Cures. Do you have anything for us today? Well, one of the highlights that came out just... Um, Today, actually, I think it was, 
is that some scientists up in Michigan have come up with kind of a revolutionary uh, protocol for developing, um, targeting cancer cells to be non-cancerous. So they using stem cell immunotherapy. Yes. Um, and the neat thing is our website, MissouriCures.com. Explains it all. Explains that and more, you know. Several months ago, we were talking about macular degeneration, uh, helping cure, the curing macular degeneration with the well, stem Well, when you actually meet and greet the scientists, the researchers that do this work, they will be the first to not mention cure. They are looking for better treatments, better therapies, and hopefully it will result in a cure. Um, as I travel the state meeting and talking with different people, I've met um, some really remarkable senior citizens who remember back when Salk was developing the vaccine against the polio. polio vaccine. And they remember taping dimes on a postcard to send in to contribute to For the March that. of Dimes. That's right. The March of That's dimes. right. And so you look at that research took 30 years from start to finish. And so we are living history. Yes. We are watching and hopefully staying aware of all the breakthroughs. You know, I, in my travels, I like to listen to books since I don't have, I have a lot of time on the road. And I just finished, and maybe you saw the movie, We Bought a Zoo. Mm. Have you seen that? No. Well, I just finished listening to it. And it, I, I found it interesting how there's a segment in that book, movie, um, where a main character's health is at stake. And the husband um, really tries, I mean, he has kept up with the research. And so then when they were in a different country, then they had to go to a doctor and the doctor didn't, wasn't aware mm -hmm. of all that he had kept abreast of. Um, and uh, you know, I'm, as I'm driving and listening to this, I'm thinking all the more importance to stay aware of- Everything that's going on. And ask your doctor, I invite your doctor to come to MissouriCures.com. Um, read it just to, you know, we have a section on news articles. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, just to stay informed on what's going on around the world. Like those macular degeneration trials yeah. are happening primarily in California. Okay. Uh, we're, we're just about out of time, but do you have a speaker series? Uh, we do. Out? We're about in the middle of our speaker series for the year. And in May, on May 24th, I think it is, we're having a heart specialist, Dr. James T. Willerson, come speak in St. Louis. He apparently was the first physician to use stem cell treatments in treating heart conditions. Okay. And for more information online, the web Missouri, address? MissouriCures.com. Okay. Margaret, thank you so much for coming by. It's a pleasure having you here. Thanks, Paul. All right. Tomorrow, we've got Mel Zelenek on. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers, KBIA. Our floor director is Danny Madison, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. And if you'd like to hear this program again or watch it, go to kbia.org, sign up for a free podcast or a podcast. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.